What if I told you St. Valentine's Day was not about chocolates, roses, or teddy bears? All right, so maybe you already knew that. Maybe you're like, Ricky, come on now. Uh, of course, Valentine's Day is more than just chocolates. It's about love. Okay, yes, but what is love? First of all, Valentine's Day is actually Saint Valentine's Day. So please put some respect on Valentine's name. He is Saint Valentine. Chances are you're very familiar with February 14th. It is a day where people usually get flowers or roses for people that they like, plan out fancy dinners, uh, or if you're still in school, you might even be passing out Valentine's Day cards to all your friends. But rarely is this day associated with Jesus, much less a Catholic priest. If you search up Valentine's Day on Google, you will get things such as 100 best ideas for Valentine's Day, top 10 dinner plans, last minute gifts. My perception for this day has changed throughout the years. I remember when I was younger, I would get excited when the day would come because, you know, my mom would take me to CVS and I would buy, uh, if it was like a superhero or some kind of cool cartoon uh, themed uh, Valentine's Day cards so that I could pass them out to my friends. I'd make sure that the coolest ones were for the people that I liked the most. And I would attach candy. I would put a nice little note. And when it was time to pass out the cards, I'd feel super cool about, you know, sticking it into their little section and then also receiving cards from them. And there was something innocent about this experience because it was a very simple giving and receiving. In this sense, I gave out Valentine's Day cards to my friends and I received their uh, Valentine's Day cards as well. However, this perception changed in my teens and early college years. I remember that it wasn't so much anymore about those innocent little cards. Now, don't get me wrong. I still had some peers who uh, practiced some of those things, you know, passing out uh, flowers or roses to people that they liked, having like little get togethers as friends. I noticed that my peers were more interested in the physical aspect of romance. It is important to note that at that point in my life, I had distanced myself from God, and the things that I experienced are not the same for every young adult. However, it is clear that our movies, our music, social media, they all promote a culture that perverts love. Jump many years forward, and I am now barely starting to understand what it means to follow Christ and to truly love. But before we talk about authentic love, Let's talk a little bit about the history of St. Valentine's Day. St. Valentine's Day celebrates the martyrdom of a Catholic priest by the name of St. Valentine of Rome, who lived around the end of the 3rd century and who was living in a time when Christians were experiencing persecution at the hands of the Roman Empire. He had a strong faith and love for our Lord to the point of giving his life for Christ. One example of his faith is shown from his time as a bishop. He was on house arrest with a judge by the name Asterius. As St. Valentine and Asterius spoke, Asterius challenged St. Valentine to prove the authenticity of Christianity. He did this by telling him to restore his daughter's eyesight. When the daughter was presented before St. Valentine, he placed his hands on her eyes, prayed over her, and her vision was restored. Humbled by this experience, Judge Asterius broke all the idols around his house. He fasted for three days, and along with his family, he was baptized. St. Valentine was soon freed, along with all of his Christian inmates. A second example of his faith is shown when he was arrested and sent to Rome under Emperor Claudius II. At this time, St. Valentine was imprisoned for marrying Christian couples and aiding Christians persecuted by Claudius. At that time, it was illegal for young soldiers to marry, 
But St. Valentine understood the beauty and importance of sacramental marriage. Despite being imprisoned, Claudius respected St. Valentine. St. Valentine, in his zeal for the Lord, attempted to convince Claudius about Christianity. However, this infuriated Claudius, and he sentenced St. Valentine to death. Claudius commanded St. Valentine to renounce his faith or be killed. However, St. Valentine refused to renounce his faith and was beaten with clubs and beheaded on February 14. The life of St. Valentine serves as an authentic story of love, that of a man who gave his life defending the Christian faith until the very end. How do we know this is authentic love? Well, because we see that this was an imitation of the love that Jesus, who is God, gave for you and I. Greater love hath no man than this, that he may lay down his life for his friends. And on St. Valentine's Day, we celebrate this authentic giving of self. St. Valentine's Day is not supposed to be a day of superficial love, full of material gifts, nor is it in any way a celebration of physical romance amongst unmarried couples. Yet sadly, that is what the culture of death promotes. Apps like Tinder that promote hooking up, the abuse of alcohol and the use of drugs, the rejection of Christian morals, the false teaching that you are incomplete until you find your partner, confusing love with lust. These are all things that distract us from pursuing a love that is fully experienced through chastity. So how do we celebrate St. Valentine's Day the right way? Well, we do this by being firm in our Christian faith and truly loving other people. What does it mean to love? It means to will the good of the other. And what is the ultimate good? Jesus Christ. So if we want to authentically love someone, we must make sure that all of our love is united with Christ. A love that is not conditional. A love that is not coercive. A love that is free. A love that is pure. The best way we can make sure that we are doing this is by participating in the sacraments. Going to confession. Spending some time in front of the Blessed Sacrament. Receiving Jesus in the Eucharist. And also by praying for those that we love, as well as those people that do not love us. There's still much that can be said about St. Valentine, so I recommend that you watch a podcast that the Catholic talk show did on St. Valentine. There, they also talked about topics such as Lupercalia, the two or three uh, St. Valentines that might be the same person, and also the skull of St. Valentine himself that can be found in a basilica in Rome. Lastly, if you want to learn more about authentic love, I recommend the book Theology of the Body by Christopher West, aka Theology of the Body for Beginners. And if you want to go up another level, then you should read Love and Responsibility by St. John Paul II. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe to watch more content like this. bonus tip. If you want to give someone the best Valentine's Day gift, then you will pray a rosary for them. You could probably also throw in a couple of heart-shaped tacos. <laughs> God bless.